you got to really want to, you really want to do something. If you really want to do something, you can do it. That's what I tell anybody. Now look at, see these skies? So when I paint these skies here, I'm thinking about Jesus and what's up beyond the sky and something nice. But, and, and if you want to paint something really nice, you got to be really happy in life. If you're sad, you can't paint anything good. See, all my little animals and my people, I show them in a kind kind of way. The way they're treating each other. See how old Rev get out the car there? He going to do a sermon that Sunday now. Now all y'all going to sing and shout. Everybody got their pretty hats on. They got to have a flower on their hat or feather or something like that. They got a conversation over there by the bench. Pretty glad the old flowers growing up. Maybe old house back there in the corner. See? And see, they used to paint the church windows. Different colors. It's a pleasant little place. You didn't have a lot, but you did have a lot. You know why I say you did have a lot? Your belly was full if you had a can of pork and beans or, or a sweet potato or some carrots or some collard greens or some string beans come out of grandmother's garden. You was okay. Good to go. It don't take a whole lot to be happy. It doesn't. Because back then, you had no light bill, water from the well. Didn't really have anything to pay because you was sharecropping. They let you live on the property for free. All you had to do is grow your crops, grow your potatoes, your watermelon, your corn, tomatoes, sweet peas. Man, we could go out there in the morning and pick sweet peas that you could almost eat out the basket. Mm. Not eat them raw anyway. Good for you. I was eating them then. You see, corn on the field, carved this long. I mean, big, long grandmother, and she plowed that field herself with a mule. Because my grandmother, granddaddy died when she was 35 years old. And it was just my grandmother, my blind Uncle Neil, Uncle Eugene, and my dog, Bricket and me. And my grandmother's name was Ruth. Uh, but she would f plow that whole, all those acres with a mule on my Uncle Eugene. I watched my grandmother plow a mule with a white apron on. I'm going to paint that one day, how she did it. She was a strong lady. She lived to be 102. But hard work don't kill anybody. Hard work help you live longer. So... When I go to the doctor, they ask me, Helen, you exercise? I said, not too much, but I work a lot. He said, Helen, that's not exercise, that's working. <laughs> Here, I'll take yeah, this Yeah, but um, I mean, life is just life. You live, you know, you live all you can and then you, and then you die, <laughs> you see? But you gotta leave something good behind. Mm -hmm. Leave something that people could think about. Well, I wonder who did this right here. Mm 